What's up, YouTube? I'm doing an update on my Nike Diamond Elite Pro. I relaced the red spots to tan, and I made that double X'd. So, yeah, I think it looks nice. I'm getting a new glove soon, in November. I'm either going to get a DP DP15 or a Pro Preferred, so comment on that and see which one's better. And, uh, yeah, this glove's holding up pretty nice. Uh, doesn't stay open all the way, but, I mean, it's not a bad glove. I'd rather have gotten an A2000 or I put preferred though. It's just my opinion. So yeah, uh, I actually just changed that to double laces today. And yeah, and yeah, it's fully broken in. And see, there's like a palm stain right there. I didn't like how the fingers were laced, so I laced it myself to be it, for it to be on the outside, but when I do that, there is some extra holes right here. So yeah. This glove is for sale. I'm asking around one hundred dollars for this. Or trade. And for trade, I'm just looking or like any type of glove, Wilson or Rawlings. It's gotta be pretty good condition. I mean, it's still pretty new. I don't even know, think I've had it for a year or so. It's just got that palm crease. And there's no cracking. Those are just wrinkles. So yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's a nice glove. It's made from kip leather. I oiled it a few times, so you probably don't have to do that. The fingers are still stiff, so. The fingers are still pretty stiff, so if a ball comes, it won't, like, bend back. Yeah. It's broken in. But it's not like floppy. I, uh, I do go two in the pinky, but uh, you can just go like this. You can still go traditional in this glove. It's harder to squeeze. Yeah, and. Uh, Okay, so that's my review, and remember this glove, the inside is pretty small, so if you have a huge hand, it probably won't fit you. So, uh, yeah, see you, dude.